Are you wondering if it's worth getting ESO Plus? Well, you're not alone. I'm Benevolent Bodie and I'm here to help. In the world of finance, there's a term called opportunity cost. It means the loss of potential gain from other alternatives when one alternative is chosen. For example, for the cost of ESO Plus, you could enjoy a month of your favorite soda pop or something comparable like an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate membership. Should you invest in ESO Plus? Let's take a look. The first benefits we'll examine are crowns and crown store discounts. With every month of ESO Plus, members get 1,650 crowns. Where I live, the regular price of 1,500 crowns is more than one month of ESO Plus. I often recommend, if players want to buy some crowns but crowns aren't on sale, to pick up a few months of ESO Plus. When you purchase ESO Plus, you get the crowns for all the months immediately and you receive all the limited time benefits during the membership. Also, with every month of ESO Plus, members get a free statuette furnishing and discounts on many items returning to the Crown Store. These discounts are listed in the monthly Crown Store Showcase and all current discounts can be viewed in the ESO Plus section of the in-game Crown Store. You can find the current discounts available to ES Plus members by opening the Crown Store and selecting the ESO Plus tab, then clicking on ESO Plus Deals. Similarly on consoles, you do the same. You open the menu, go to the Crown Store and select the ESO Plus tab. Also each month, I post a mobile-friendly summary of the Crown Store Showcase and I list all of the ESO Plus discount items on my website. You'll find a link in the description. Next, let's examine the next category of ESO Plus benefits, the progression bonuses. ESO Plus gives members a 10% bonus to experience point gain, crafting inspiration gain, reduction in trait research, and gold earned. Experience gain allows members to unlock abilities and passives a little bit sooner, while crafting inspiration gain allows crafters to unlock crafting passives and to unlock special crafted item sets sooner. Note these bonuses stack with other similar buffs like scrolls, potions, and special event buffs. Some players could make the case that this category adds an element of pay to win to ESO Plus, but at the end of the day, these bonuses are not going to have an impact on any of the in-game leaderboard results. Moving on, let's examine the next category of ESO Plus benefits, storage. I often joke that ESO stands for Endless Sack Organizing. Many ESO players get ESO Plus for the storage bonuses alone. The double bank space provides a place to store items until they are ready to be sold or transfer to other characters. Housing mancers, players who love decorating houses, appreciate the doubled amount of housing slots to place furnishings in. Min maxers and theory crafters like the double transmute crystal storage to be able to recreate items from their sticker book collection to experiment with different gear combinations. Lastly, serious crafters can get addicted to the amazing craft bag that can hold a vast number of every crafting material in the game. Finally, let's examine the last category of ESO Plus benefits, cosmetics and content. For some players, fashion is ESO's endgame. One often overlooked benefit of ESO Plus is the ability to dye your costumes. Without ESO Plus, players have to purchase dye packs from the Crown Store. Note, you do not have to have ESO Plus membership to use outfit stations to apply styles and colors to gear obtained in the game. 
ESO Plus gives members access to all zones, dungeons, and main storylines of all DLCs and previous chapters. However, this excludes the latest chapter's contents and previous chapter's bonuses like classes. New players benefit most from the content aspect of ESO Plus, as many long-term players have purchased chapter upgrades or have completed a lot of the content in DL zones by purchasing the DLCs or ESO Plus in the past. With the ESO Plus, former players can catch up on the content they missed while they were away for a fraction of the cost of the individual DLCs and previous chapters. ESO Plus is a great way to try before you buy a DLC or unlocking DLC content such as the Blade of Woe and the Sigic skill line that you get to keep after your ESO Plus membership expires. If you're thinking about getting ESO Plus for a short period of time or you're taking advantage of a free ESO Plus trial, I suggest checking out my guide on making the most of ESO Plus on my website. You'll find a link below in the description. In summary, there are a lot of excellent benefits to having ESO Plus membership. I hope that I've provided enough information for you to decide if ESO Plus is right for you. Thanks for watching! If you didn't take notes, you'll find a link to the written guide on my website at benevolentbody.ca down below in the description. What did you think of the video? Did you smash the like button or post your comments below? Until next time, take care and keep playing video games.